Hi, welcome to Time for Tales. This week we're going to be doing mermaids. So everybody stand up for the hello song. Okay, good job everyone. Our first book is called How to Catch a Mermaid by Adam Wallace. Last week I saw a mermaid. It's not something I'd pretend. I'd really like to catch her so she could be my friend. We'd have the best adventures I'd learned from her mermaid ways. She'd Tore her, we tore her mermaid city. We'd swim for days and days. The little shop and the dog. Hey, you two, come follow me. I need you on my team. The water's where we need to plan our mermaid catching scheme. But how to catch a mermaid, you don't learn this in school. We'll need to build a gentle trap and start near the tide pool. See, that's the tide pool. First, I have this jewelry box. She'll love this bait I bought her. She can't resist a treasure chest. Oh no, it's in the water. What happened? All the crap carrying it away. Well, mermaids love bright, shiny things. A crown will catch her eye. We'll lure her in with this new trap, and then our net will fly. There's the crown. Her seaweed lasso snatched the crown. We'll need a different plan. Let's put a sparkly necklace down inside a giant clam. There's the giant clam. She switched the necklace with a rock to stop the clam from snapping. Now she has another prize. We need some better trapping. We made a lasso of our own and hid in the seaweed. She swam too fast for us to catch. Oh, when will we succeed? She's getting away again. Now let's try to switch it up and play some funky beats. Maybe that will draw her in. Oh no, they're sharks, retreat. You gotta be careful, I don't wanna get eaten by the sharks. We escaped from all the sharks. That was a scary scene. But now we get to up our game with this cool submarine. Look at the submarine. This submarine has robot arms to catch our fishy lass. But this mermaid can't be caught. She really is too fast. There she is, getting away again. It's time to pull out all the stops. We have to be quite sneaky. But she heard our chap trap from far away. That treasure chest was creaky. 
Freaky. Here it is, the treasure chest. Oh no, look out, the sharks are back. We're doomed, what can we do? We used up all our traps and bait. Without some help, we're through. Hope the sharks don't get them. There she is. Our mermaid comes in to save the day. She's made a trap to save us. She scares the sharks and scooped us, scoops us up. She really is courageous. They helped her out, huh? Hooray, we're safe and back on land. Three cheers to our mermaid. We'll miss her smart and clever tricks. We wish she could have stayed. And there she goes, off. They didn't get to catch her. Okay, now everybody has some mermaids in a bag that look like this. So we're gonna do a little mermaid thing here. Five little mermaids. Five little mermaids were swimming near the shore. One took a dive, and then there were four. One took a dive. Four little mermaids were swimming out to sea. One went for food, and then there were three. Here she goes, out for food. Three little mermaids wondering what to do. One swam away, and then there were two. She's gonna swim away. Two little mermaids were having great fun, but one took a plunge and then there was one. One little mermaid, mermaid said, I like the warm sun. Away she went and then there were none. All right, good job everyone. Now there's a craft bag. Everybody has a bag with a bunch of different parts to make a couple mermaids. Just an assortment of all the stickers that came with there. And everybody's got a little picture so they can follow about what they look like. But you guys can do whatever you want. It's perfectly fine. Okay. Now we have another little rhyme. It's to the I'm a little teapot. I'm a little mermaid, it's called. I'm a little mermaid, see my tail. My friends are the dolphins and also the whales. I live in the ocean so big and blue. I love to swim with the little fish too. I'm a little merman, strong and brave. See my big old tail, I can make it wave. I live in the ocean so big and blue. I love to play with the little fish too. Okay, let's do it again. I'm a little mermaid, see my tail. My friends are the dolphins and also the whales. I live in the ocean so big and blue. I love to swim with the little fish too. I'm a little merman, strong and brave. See my big old tail, I can make it wave. I live in the ocean so big and blue. I love to play with the little fish too. All right, good job. Okay, our second book is called Pearl by Molly Idol. Pearl. In the vast sea of blue, some mermaids watched over the waves, breaking upon the endless beaches. Some kept an eye on the great coral reefs. Some tended to the towering forests of kelp rising from the ocean floor. See all that kelp? Some guarded the giants of the deep and Pearl deeply yearned to be one of them. It's an octopus. Mother, I am big enough to help too, she said. Yes, Pearl, her mother considered. Come with me. I have something very important to you, for you to look after. What is it, a shell? 
They swam up and up and up. They go up to the water, top of the water. Now they're on the beach. Past the breaking waves until the sandy shore stretched all around them. This, said her mother, is yours. She placed a single grain of sand in Pearl's hand, yours to care for every day and keep safe every night. But mother, protested Pearl, you said I could help with something important. The smallest of things can make a big difference, Pearl, her mother replied. With that, Pearl was left alone. A wave of disappointment washed over her. She was surrounded by thousands of grains of sand, millions, billions, beyond counting. And here she was entrusted with just one. Her heart grew heavy and the weight of it pulled her down, down, down. Where the salt of her tears mingled with the sea. Here she is all upset. Pearl glowered at the glowered at the grain of sand. She clenched it in her tiny fist. Then from beneath her fingers came a faint light. But when Pearl opened her hand, it was gone. Pearl closed her hand around the tiny grain again, gently this time. The sand resting on her palm had a luster to it that had not been there before. See it? It's not a grain of sand anymore. Every day, Pearl preserved it, polished it, and played with it. Every night, she protected it, and slowly, very slowly, it began to grow and grow and glow. There she is with it in the shell. And as it grew lighter, so did Pearl's heart. It seemed to, it seemed to buoy them up and up. She's floating up with it. Until it rose into the vast sea of stars. Pearl beamed up at it. It beamed back. Its light touched everything. There it is. It sparkled on the breaking waves and the coral creating new reefs. It glowed in the tides flowing through the towering forests and illuminated the giants rising from the deep. There's the octopus again. And it shone. Upon Pearl. The end. Her name was Pearl because it made a pearl. That's how pearls are made with a grain of sand. Okay, we're going to do the goodbye song now. Let me get my little friend here. Find your 
shoulders right here now it's time to touch your shoulders touch your shoulders touch your shoulders now it's time to touch your shoulders touch them now can you say goodbye now it's time to say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye now it's time to say goodbye say goodbye please blow me a kiss now it's time to blow a kiss blow a kiss blow a kiss now it's time to blow a kiss say Thanks for coming and I'll see you next week.